These are the top 10 competition climbing boulders of all time, in no particular order. And by the end of this video, I want you to rank your favorite competition boulders in this video from 1, 2, and 3, and give me an honorable mention of which competition boulder did I miss in this list. Hello climbers, and welcome back. This is Yanya Gambret. Starting off at number 10, in no particular order, Yanya Gambret did this incredible, complex, dino move but at first she did not get it and despite having a shoulder injury she's still able to wow us in this competition boulder this is an amazing moment and a big highlight for Yanya Gambret as she makes the scene attempt number two for Yanya Gambret swings catches and clutches such a beautiful combination of moves strung together can she make the top she is a little hesitant, flies up oh, and does not catch. And she actually stumbles back. This was in 2018 in Innsbruck, one of the biggest bouldering competitions. And such a cool sequence and a beautiful coordination of movements. Like this was the pinnacle of like competition and like dynamic climbing. This was like really, really pushing the boundaries. In 2018 was the, around the time where the root setters were getting crazy over these moves and let's see if Yanya Gamera can make it again. So sick. So sick. I also want to try this move. This is one of the most legendary moves in competition climbing and Yanya Gamera secures it. Coming in at number 9, this route was amazing. This was set by a very, very renowned Japanese IFSC setter, Gen Hiroshima. And this was super physical. It's a very classic kind of climbing move, but includes a lot of 3D and modern elements as well. It was a very stringent physical boulder, starting off with a Gaston into this kind of like rounded ledge. And this was on a really steep angle. This was at least 30 degrees steep. And the way they're holding that is insane. I have those in my gym. Those are not juggy at all. Those are slope. You can see how open their palms are. And these guys make it look make it look like it's doable. But let me assure you, this is incredibly difficult. I don't want to come in biceps in full pump. And that is nothing on that right hand volume. It's completely flat. There's no jibs in there. And the way they have to shuffle themselves into this kind of like compressed uh, compressed like slot while like, smearing on basically just the friction of the blue volume is incredible and Nathaniel Coleman managed to do a huge dynamic move cut loose a huge animal scream to be able to catch the top in cut Adam Ondra did a magnificent drop knee to secure this boulder none of the other Japanese boulders could do this only Adam Ondra and Nathaniel Coleman and of course he naturally screams to the top of his lungs he, and he used that to win Myringen last year. Next on number 8, this is John Wanchong on Men's 3. And as one of the 2018 Boulder World Cups, this was an incredible... I was about to say in crazy, but incredible and crazy move. Yeah, so you had to do, kind of do this like face out Boulder start. Stemming really maxing out your reach. And then coming into this huge like... Dragon Ball Jog, that's what it's called. It's called, literally called a Dragon Ball Jog. I'm not kidding you. And he matches so well. There was a French climber before him. He had literally struggled up here for over a minute and a half trying to find his way. He somehow got into this like reverse position and he was trying to match like, something above his head and he really couldn't really find oppositional tension. But he was really trying his best. He was like inverse scripting with the left and then finally like thigh hooking the dragon ball that was insane coming in at number seven this is the classic daniel woods boulder huge finger strength power subtle technique and just great grit and vigor daniel woods really amazing with these pockets and slopey grims this is such a powerful physical and complex complex boulder Oh, so, so good. I wish to see something like this in the 2023 World Cups coming very soon. And don't forget, remember to watch all the way to the end of this video so that I need to know your favorite top three from this list in the comment section. So get to it and make sure 
well, I'm not gonna make sure this is one one of them, but this is personally one of my favorite boulders to watch. Even though it's such an old school boulder, this is one of the best boulders of all time, in my personal opinion. He manages to grab these slopey, slopey pinches and does the huge move to the top. That is so cool. That was one of the best boulders that I've personally ever seen. Next one is another one for Myringen. Myringen is so legendary. It's usually the first place for a IFSC World Cup to happen during the year. And this was a legendary moment with Tomo Narasaki on men's number two. And watch this. Oh my goodness. It never, never gets old. It's a one, two, three popping paddle. Oh my god, triple huge paddle and even the top section is quite cool because you're having these to kind of like squeeze and wrap around these like volcano, like volcano jibs. Oh, it's so interesting, such interesting movement, like almost two different worlds, the bottom half and the top half. It's just such an interesting combination. Tomorrow I was lucky naturally flashing this. Monarasaki will always be able to do something like that. Such an incredible moment for all of climbing. This next one is quite a dark horse. I found this out uh, through just like browsing through YouTube and I really saw this incredible boulder from the IFSC World Cup in Toronto in 2015. Because of this huge climbing, climbing style, it's like almost like a outdoor like uh, just pure technique and pure climbing kind of boulder and I really really loved it so I love how he like went right when had the cross toe hook to kind of stay in position that's insane like these subtle moments like really differentiate like amazing climbers from like our regular climbers these guys are like oh my god he's even showboating and calling the crowd on because this guy Alban I believe he's, this is already his uh, final boulder because it's M's4 of course but he already topped three boulders previously so he really wants to be able to secure this like this top and this oh my god this heel is insane it's about, I'm referring to the boulder on the left he seems to kind of match the top but he Oh, he slips, and that was his last attempt. So this is Adam Andros' attempt on the M4 boulder. So it starts off with this like cool undercling, and going up to this right hand crimp, and it's kind of a subtle back flag to kind of gasp onto this position. But then you have to somehow get your body to sting across, and the only way to do that is to go almost feet first. Adam Andros does decide to plant the left heel to support his right toe hook and needs to come across campus his way across I'm not sure how he's gonna move forward and yeah so there's another option is to like do another feet first move again to toe hook this slopey volume but it's really really crazy and then he's like really turning to almost like 360 underground oh my god I can't believe like falling from this position he really has to kind of like wrestles his way across and it's super super technical that's why I really love these like boulders even though it's not like the typical like coordination and like double dino cool stuff like which is awesome but this is like has a story to tell you know these climbing climbing routes are complex they entertain and it's just amazing to see the climbers just figure out and explore the movement is this why I really love these kind of climbs even though they're not like you know like, wow or like flashy factor they are like subtle they're complex they are elaborate and they have a flavor and character and the whole story is that Adam Andre decides to go dynamic right hand instead of healing the crimp this next one is from the adidas rock stars in 2019 Yoshiyuki Ogata climbing this incredible boulder I just love the feet first sequence it's just like amazing feet first into a bicycle toe hook on this slopey slopey angle and like I don't know how he's able to 360 turn to like compress his way across and look at this huge move catching it and so much control like he doesn't swing out violently everything's with purpose everything's engaged it's just a beautifully climbed boulder oh my goodness and I just like the style of just topping up on top you know like just like a very traditional outdoor boulder dance style so it's so smooth I this is one of my favorites as well as you can tell that I love this feet first kind of style of climbing it's just so cool to see Miho Nanaka bicycles from the start Akio Noguchi bicycles the same volume instead so it's really cool to see the different styles Akio Noguchi going more rotating uh, counterclockwise whereas Miho Nanaka choosing to go 
in more clockwise direction, they still do meet at this uh, lip over here. Niho Naka decides to throw left, Akio Noguchi ponders the right hand but decides to cross throw left as well and after that it's just really really nice to see her moving across. And this one of these boulders is just like so dynamic and striking. The aesthetics, especially with these like neon green holes against this white background uh, from Chongqing, China, it's just like such an incredible um, you know, and memorable like visual experience. So this was one of the top boulders, especially for the women's category. I think of all time. Before well, we go on to the next one, this is a bonus one. Tomorrow Narasake exploding into this huge Gaston. Just so good at this kind of dynamic. Uh, quick fast twitch Let's movements and it's just so so talented and this one is from Brook Rabbit 2 the movement here is really really cool this is more of a dynamic kind of movement but it's like one and then it's a cool like double pedal swing thing which is like I don't know how you would describe it it's just so smooth for Brook Rabbit 2 to do it it's like a left right pedal swing into a foot plant it was just so beautiful to watch and this was in Salt Lake City in the United States and I can't wait to see the World Cups here again it's always a great vibe here it's always like two weeks of competition so two World Cups in like within two weeks so that's really really fun and exciting all the time beautiful how she kind of crosses over and has the tension it's just really, really great, and this was that time where Book Rabbit 2 really needed the top to be in the metal pull in position. So, and this one was also really, really cool. It did not get topped, I believe, but the movement from the top is like a campusy, campusy move. Oh my goodness, that was so sick. This is Mac Mill from Great Britain here. Oh my goodness, that's so strenuous on your shoulders. I can't imagine like doing that personally. And again. You can flick and flick and he almost gets the top though. Wait, did he get the top? I don't remember. Seven seconds left. Six seconds. Five, four, three. Wait, did he get it? Oh, he did. He did. He did top it. Oh my goodness. That's so sick. He had three tops. And this was men's fall of Myringen. Adam Ondra also had three tops. So this was the final boulder and all the stakes were on this boulder. In an era of triple quadruple dinos, running and jumps, double toe hook catches, you know, monkey monkey like flip flip here, <laughs> flip flip there. An old school crack boulder appeared to surprise the entire climbing world and with Adamondra here an old school classic climber who knows how to 